In this segment, we're going to look at something called banking fees. What are banking fees? Let's read this. Banks charge fees for the services that they provide. Okay. Folk, let's say I've got a bank account. And let's say in this bank account, and I'm going to dream big. Okay. Let's pretend I've got 20,000 Rand in this bank account. I then go off to the bank. And I say, listen, guys, I need a thousand rand cash. Okay. So the woman behind the till says, cool, fill in this form. I fill in the form. She stamps. She, well, they always stamp, hey? Everything gets stamped. Stamp, 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 and then counts out a thousand rand. So I say, cool. So they're taking out a thousand rand. And so in my account, I should have 19,000 rand. I go to an ATM later and I say, I want to check if this bank is doing their job right. Put in a balance and suddenly to my horror, I see that my balance is 18,930 Rand. 70 Rand has gone missing. It should be 19,000. It's now 18,930. What happened to my 70 Rand? So I go back into the bank and I say, listen, Oz, you need to use a calculator here, Bri. 20,000 minus 1,000 should be 19,000, not 18,930. What are you doing to my bank? And they can turn around and say, listen, Boyke, you've forgotten something. Every time you put money into our bank, we charge you for that. Every time you take money out, we charge you for that. And that charge is something which we call bank fees. Okay, now I'm going to look at the following here. And I just want us to look at this table. Transactions, okay? So, different transactions. Transactions are um, activities that you perform within your account. And we'll look at them in more detail. And then the fee, because you get charged for things. So, monthly fees. Monthly maintenance fee, just for having your bank, they're going to charge you five rand every single month. Okay, ish. Self-service banking subscription fee, they're charging you another 15 rand. Deposits, what's deposit? Deposits when you put money into your account. Okay, if you do it over the counter, okay, or um, at Nagoli Bank, right? They're going to charge you five rand. If you do a check over the account or at Nogali Bank ATM, it's going to be free. Cash withdrawals, when I take money out. If I go to the counter and I take out money, they're going to charge me 10 rand just for doing that. If I go to a Nigali Bank ATM, they're going to charge me five rand for taking out my own money. It seems a bit of a cheek, eh? If I go to another bank's ATM, seven rand is what they're going to charge me. If I go to a till point and I say to them, Hazard, I'm here, okay, I'd like to draw money. Because nowadays you can do that, hey? You can go to a till and you can, with your bank card, and say, please, can I draw money, right? And this bank, which is called Igoli Bank, okay, we just made up the bank's name, all right, um, so that we're not running down any bank. They're saying, at a till point, they're going to charge you a rand. If you're buying it with purchase, I go to the bank, or go to a shop, and I say, cool, I'm buying a bottle of water, and I'm buying a packet of chips, great. Oh yeah, by the way, I still want to draw money. They're going to charge me two rand. Account payments and purchases. If I make an electronic uh, transfer between my own accounts, free. Electronic account payments, I'm paying an account, free. And I'm paying it electronically. What do I mean by that? Going on the internet, right. Stop order, five rand. Debit order, okay, two rand fifty. Debit order external, five rand. Balance inquiries, okay. So I go to the counter and say, I want to know what my balance is. The first one they're giving me for free. Thereafter, they're charging me 10 Rand. 
I go to Nagoli Bank ATM. The first one is free. Thereafter, they're charging me one rand. I go to another bank's ATM. Not Igoli Bank. Another bank. Two rand. If I go to self-service banking, what do I mean by that? Okay. I go off on the internet, check out my balance. Absolutely free. Right. So you can see that there are lots of fees that are charged on an account. So I want us to look at this example. Arthur's Bank, Goli Bank, lists the following bank fees. Arthur subscribes to self-service banking and pays a monthly maintenance fee. In the space of a month, Arthur performs the following transactions. Okay, so let's write this down. We know that these fees, monthly maintenance is 5 Rand, self-service, 15 Rand. So already he is paying 5 Rand and 15 Rand. Okay, so 15 Rand for the self-service plus the 5 Rand for the maintenance fee. Right, what else is he doing? He deposits 335 Rand in cash at an Igoli Bank ATM. Okay, so he goes, he deposits cash, 5 Rand fee. So the poor guy is paying 5 Rand for putting money into his own bank account. He withdraws 500 cash at another bank's ATM. So now he's withdrawing money at another bank's ATM. Okay, if you withdraw money at uh, another bank's ATM, 7 Rand. So this poor guy now has got to pay 7 Rand for taking money out of his own account. He withdraws 100 Rand cash over the counter at an Agoli bank branch. Okay, so he goes to a bank branch and he withdraws money over the counter. 10 bucks is what he's got to pay. So the poor guy is paying another 10 Rand. Next thing. He inquires twice about his balance over the counter at Igoli Bank. So he goes into the bank and says, I want to know what is my balance. All right. For finding out what his balance is at the counter, the first one is free. But remember, he did it twice that month. So the second one, he's paying 10 Rand. So another 10 Rand. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay. So 10 Rand for doing this. He draws cash whilst buying groceries at a toll. And remember, they're going to charge him two rand for that. He makes three electronic account payments to pay for his rent, electricity, and phone bill. Right, so let's have a look here. He's paying three electronic transfers. So electronic transfers between accounts, electronic account payments, free. All right, so he's not paying anything for that. Zero, because it's all done electronically. So not paying anything. Now, the first question says, how much is this bank charging him for all these transactions? So all we've got to do is we've got to add all this up, don't we? So let's do that. 15, 20, 25, 32, 42, 52, 54, 54 Rand for putting money in your own account or for taking money out of your own account. Yeesh, that's a bit rough. Let's have a look at another example because we've got some time here. Okay, our next example says this. Mia has recently opened a global account at Capital Bank. She's concerned about her monthly bank charges. Use a provided brochure and list of her account activities for the month of April to answer the questions. Okay, and the one question is going to be how much is she paying for all these fees? Okay, so let's have a look at it. All right, first things first. Balance of her previous month carried forward was 210 Rand 25. Old mutual policy. Debit order returned, insufficient funds, suddenly 254 Rand 37. Balance inquiry, 
they didn't charge her anything. Davidson's textiles, salary deposit, you got 450 Rand. ShopRite purchases, debit card, 847 Rand. ShopRite, cash withdrawals, 250. So they give that whole list over here. But there are certain fees that you're going to have to pay. Okay. So there's no fee here for the balance. Old mutual policy, the debit order returned. Okay. Insufficient funds. So let's have a look here quickly. All right. So we're looking what happens if we return money. Here it is here. Okay. Uh, debit order returned. It says here, return debit order, four rand. So she's going to pay four rand because she didn't have enough money in her account. Right. So that is four rand. Balance inquiry over the mobile, a balance inquiry, okay, balance inquiry is mobile, free. She's not going to pay anything. David Textile salary deposits, so let's have a look at deposits, okay. Um, cash withdrawals, buy and transfers, others, uh, does it say deposit here? Um, okay, it doesn't mention anything about deposits, so they're not going to charge us for money. So what we're going to do here is we're going through every single thing and trying to see is there a payment that we've got to do. Purchases at ShopRite, okay, on a debit card. So, uh, debit card, does it show us what it's going to actually be? Debit card here, purchase free. So, we're not paying anything for doing that. ShopRite, cash withdrawal. Cash withdrawal, supermarket till points, one rand. We're paying one rand. Old mutual policy, branch payment, okay. Payment at a branch. Let's have a look for it quickly. Uh, payment uh, capital account at a branch. Three rand. We're paying three rand. Edkers purchases debit card. Debit card purchase free. We're not paying anything there. Capital bank ATM withdrawal. Okay, so uh, withdrawal at a capital bank. Uh, let's have a look at it here quickly. Withdrawals, withdrawals, withdrawals. I don't see withdrawals. They haven't shown us here. Um, no, they haven't shown us. ShopRite municipal account payments. We pay. But basically, guys, we're looking at all these expenses. So you're going to work through that list. Can you see how we're doing it? We're looking at all our expenses, all the bank fees, and adding them up. All right. How much are they paying us? Or how much do we have to pay to do all these services? Okay, right. There's one thing I want us to look at though, and that's this, because this comes up quite regularly. So let's have a look at our screen here. Sometimes a bank will say, we will charge you five or 10 Rand plus, 3% of the value. Okay, so let's say we want to withdraw 500 Rand. They say, yeah, sure, draw 500 Rand. But understand, we're going to charge you 10 Rand plus 3% of that value. So what I'm going to do is say this. Let's find, and remember, we're going to pretend we're drawing 500 Rand. Let's find 3% of 500 rand and I'm not going to do that my calculator is going to do that okay so we're going to say I've got 500 rand I'm finding 3% all right so 3% of that equals 15 rand so I'm paying 15 rand but it was 10 rand plus the 3% so we got to pay extra 10 rand which is 25 rand. Guys, these kind of questions are creeping in slowly into exam type questions as well, where we're paying a certain amount, but there is a set payment first. So it says 10 rand plus 3% of the above. Another thing that banks can do that we need to be aware of is sometimes they will say this, you're going to pay, let's say, uh, an amount of 15 rand plus 2 rand 
per hundred rand or part thereof. What does part thereof mean? Part thereof means this, that if I now draw out a hundred rand, let's say, so I go to the bank, draw out a hundred rand. They say, okay, cool, we're charging you 50 rand and two rand per hundred. You drew a hundred rand, it's an extra two rand. It is now 17 rand. Go to the bank and I say, I want to draw out a hundred and one rand. The bank are going to say, cool, 15 rand you owe us, plus 2 rand for the first 100 rand. Now, because you've gone into the next 100, so we charge you for 100 rand, anything over 100 to the next 100, we're charging you another 2 rand. So although I've drawn an extra only 1 rand, they're going to charge me extra 2 rand. Why? Because it's 2 rand per 100 rand or part thereof. means up to 100 rand, I'm paying 2 rand. Up to the next 100, another. So let me show it to you like this. So, 0 to 100, any amount there, I'm paying 2 rand. 100 to 200 or 100 comma 001, I'm paying another 2 rand. 200 to 300, I'm paying another 200 rand. So if I draw 101 rand, I'm paying for the first hundred. That extra one rand fits in here. Anywhere along here, I'm paying an extra two rand. So that is part thereof. Okay. Do we understand how all this works? Okay. Practice, 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 people. Go to past papers. Take out past papers. Look at questions on different uh, bank fees and try and answer them. Okay, our time is coming to an end. Let's just summarize this little section. In this segment today, we've covered the following. We've described and explained the meaning of various banking transactions. And we've calculated the total cost of the fees that get charged. Remember, when I go to a bank, when I draw money, there's always a fee charged for drawing that money. And that's why, guys, when I go to an ATM and I decide, you know what, I just need 20 rand, and I go and draw 20 rand, there's a fee. If I go to that bank and say, right, I'm going to draw 100 rand, there's a fee. And sometimes that fee is exactly the same. So a bank might say, you go and draw money, we'll charge you 5 rand. So I go and draw 100 rand, I'm paying 5 rand to the bank. I go and draw 10 rand, I'm paying an extra 5 rand to the bank. So it doesn't always do you good to draw little bits of money. But at the same time, because of safety, we don't like to draw a lot of money. So you've got to get the balance there and try and choose an amount of money where you're not paying too much bank fees for that bit of money, but where it's still safe enough to carry that bit of money with you. Bank fees, very interesting topic. Folk, that's it from me today. I trust you've learned a lot. And you know what? We'll see each other again soon on your TV screen. Until then, stay safe.